PIA is a state of mind and an orientation. It's the notion that you are not alone, that your issues are part of a larger framework to try and create these services that exist not for individual betterment or profit, but rather to serve the whole public interest. You care and you know you can make a difference. Now I have a bigger coffee pie sign and it says, you won't let me dream, I won't let you sleep. It absolutely does not have to be this way. This is a huge opportunity, but we just have to seize it. I decided that I was going to be the voice to the people who didn't have a chance to say anything. Taking power, holding power, making change, deciding what will be done, that is what matters. I remember sitting around a board table and discussing who are the groups that are most disadvantaged in the province? And we identified children, seniors, post-secondary students. These are typically individuals and groups who don't have a voice. But a child is not a number, a percentage on a graph. Look into his eyes, ask his name. We fight for decent housing, child care is mother's living wage is fair start. Again. There were many small child care groups across the province working on this front. Public Interest Separated brought these organizations together, was the face of the campaign. I remember blocking traffic as we formed the line of people that extended down the hill towards the legislature and eventually threaded its way all throughout the legislature, picking up people along the way as we went. There's really nothing left for us to cut at this point. We must constantly hear from those who are struggling with poverty because they have the solution. We'll let the people help us see what are the root causes, what are the solutions to improving the life condition, not in a two or three years, but now. 73,000 children, one in 11, lived in poverty. Medicine Hat is the city with the highest number of low-wage workers in Alberta. You would need to be making twelve twenty-five an hour with benefits to be living above the poverty line. Public Interest Alberta estimates one in five working Albertans are low-wage earners. Sixty-one percent are women. We need to know that there's some barriers that women face more than men. It has a lot to do with our culture, the way our economy is set up, that there's some barriers that we need to address. I remember the very sad and troubling stories about the struggles that families, children with PDD, when those services were being cut. I battle not with noise and fire. I signal to be recognized. My mind alert, my spirit real, like any child. It's love I feel. We call for stable public funding to educate our youth. What we are here for is to support uh, Public Interest Alberta. We want to hear the stories that teachers and parents have been saying are some of the concerns. It was a natural thing for teachers to advocate for public education. What PIA did is it brought other people to the table. So for the first time, we were talking with the other unions that were involved in the K-12 education sector. But even more than that, we started working with people who had roots in the parent movement. It broadened the number of people who were active, and in so doing, it made us more effective all around. Public 
interest Alberta's efforts have shown that Albertans are concerned about the funding of their post-secondary education. The past few years have been difficult on our campuses. Programs are being cut by some institutions, and students are feeling the crunch too. Costs are going up at our institutions at a time when youth unemployment continues to be shockingly high. It's no surprise that Alberta has the lowest post-secondary participation rate in the country. We push for more staff, more public beds, give him more respect. I usually feel that the stories we hear are so damn unnecessary. Why do we have to put up with them? Public Interest Alberta says the province has been ignoring the problems facing home care and long-term facilities. There has to be a balance of affordable and accessible accommodation for seniors, and it isn't there now. The group has put up billboards in six cities across the province. Public Interest Alberta, Friends of Medicare, and the Parkland Institute are on the road with a new report about elder care called From Bad to Worse. We got a good education system by focusing on what's good, better, and best. What we're getting in seniors' care is cheap, cheaper, and cheapest. And it's damn well time we stop. On Thursday, seniors started what they described as an old-fashioned sit-in. They're concerned about government's plans to change the seniors' drug plan. They say requests to meet have been ignored, so they're now demanding a meeting with the health minister and the premier. Hello. The minister called, agreeing to meet. The premier did not agree, so the protesters stayed well into the night. At 12.40 a.m., police arrived and the seniors went home. The next morning, the group says it will meet with Horn. Our experience with government consultation in the past has not been very good, but we'll we'll follow up on that and we will meet with the minister we strive for real representation transparency not greed alberta is quite clearly the least democratic place in canada we need to make big changes to deal with alberta's staggering democratic deficit PIA has made a good contribution in trying to turn that super tanker around. Let me give you an example. Campaign and party finance. Should Alberta set tighter contribution in spending limits? Are our province's elections democratic? The current situation is clearly anti-democratic. You saw the tip of this particular iceberg with the $430,000 Cates bundled contribution. We need systematic, comprehensive campaign election reform. With fair taxation, we'll build a better place for all. Over 20 years, corporate profits rose 354%. Follow the money and you know where it's going. Investment today in vital public services will pay huge dividends in the future. Stop the cats! Stop the cats! Stop the cats! All right, thank you very much, everybody. Well, remember, March the 20th, first day of spring, we're going to be uh, weaving our way through the city of Edmonton, delivering that fabric. things that we've done as PIA is looked at what could we do. Indeed, the latest campaign, the Alberta Kid campaign, shows us that even if we rose to the next level of taxation of the next most modest province in this country, all the things that we could provide for Albertans, whether it is health care, ambulances, schools. Quality education for our children in Alberta is founded in a fully resourced system. I think what you've seen over 10 years is a public systematic answer 
to the constant message of privatize, deregulate, don't worry about the public good, and that if we were to leave everything to markets and private interests, we'd be way better off. We started to see the withdrawal of skilled providers, registered nurses and licensed practical nurses from care settings and the substitution of cheaper, unskilled labor. Because this is all about profit. And it's about profit for corporations who pretend to sell care to seniors and other vulnerable populations. The corporate parasites that are increasingly trying to bleed off what can arguably be called the greatest health care, Medicare system in the world. A number of other provinces don't put any public dollars into private schools. Here in Alberta, we put significant amounts of money into private schools, and yet we don't seem to have the oversight that's happening every year. We are warriors, Mother Earth soldiers. The warrior for us is one who sacrifices himself for the good of others. His task is to take care of the elderly, the defenseless, and above all, the children, the future of humanity. The only river that's uh, not regulated for protection is the Athabasca River. And the reason why they don't regulate is because the oil sands need that water. Our way of life is being replaced by industrialized landscapes. We need to go green, we need to build just transitions. What is a green collar economy? Over 200,000 green jobs can be built in Alberta alone. We need to include everyone in this picture. Our water is not for sale was instrumental in pushing back on the government on water markets. It's a human right issue. Water is something you need every day. You need to live. It needs to stay in the hands of public service. Everybody, everywhere, should have access to clean, safe drinking water. And if they don't, shame on the government. We know a better story and we know Alberta could. Block the party. For me, that was really important, As it, for me personally. And as a union, knowing we were under full frontal attack, for me, that was a turning point. And to do it outside a Tory convention, to have people pull together, said to us, OK, we are strong together here. Let's get on with, with fighting this government because they're out to uh, destroy everything we believe in. What we've discovered, and certainly a philosophy I think we share with PIA, is that you have to make those kind of events fun. Public Interest Alberta has played an invaluable role. It's to promote people valuing public services, valuing public spaces, saying yeah, there is a public interest and it's very, very important. Ten years. Well, we're going to be, be a teenager. Let's see if we can be rambunctious. Yes, Alberta needs this. On the legislature steps we sing in the threatening rain. They're rolling back funds from those who need it most again. And in the halls of power, though they furiously spin, they back down from harmful plans. Our lives are not budget lines to tinker with at will. Look into our 